Hello there everyone, I hope you are having a great day. Today I'd like to take you through my amazing trip to Portsmouth. This was my first time visiting Portsmouth, can you believe that? And uh, we wanted to make it a day trip, but afterwards learning about the passes for the historic dockyards, we decided that we might come back again in the future staying the night. So on this occasion, we decided as we arrived from uh, Waterloo to go straight to the historic dockyards after stopping initially at Gunworth uh, Keys shopping center in order to have a meal. And we ate in a little restaurant called Coast to Coast, after which we did some shopping as we found some great molten brown reduced. Well, lots of uh, shops there but not like Bista Village, more about this later on. So we did lots of shopping at uh, Ralph Lauren and Moulton Brown and afterwards we walked back to the historic dockyards. As you can see it there with the map we got from this uh, location. And uh, we took our tickets for the historic dockyard and also the separate ticket for Mary uh, Rose. So, what you can see here is the great, the super amazing Mary Rose, a ship dating back to Henry VIII and which was um, salvaged well, uh, they were they brought it back from the mud where it rested since the 16th century uh, with 19,000 artifacts. So the museum is simply amazing, displaying not only the part of Mary Rose that survived this, as this part was the one which was in the mud, thus the organisms in the water did not destroy it. So you can see that only this half uh, surviving part of the ship. Lots of artifacts and the museum went to the extent of recreating uh, recreating the life at sea with the sounds is just amazing. You have to see this uh, museum. A separate ticket is for the remaining of the historic dockyards, meaning you can visit with uh, another ticket, the HMS Victory and HMS M33, which are located also near Mary Rose. And afterwards, you can see the Royal Navy Museum and HMS. HMS a Warrior, which is located right of the entrance of the historic uh, dockyards. I would highly recommend for you to take an annual pass. Why? Because you can visit as many times during one year and you can see all these attractions as opposed to only one attraction or two or three. Also to get uh, the discounted ticket which you find on different sites like Groupon and so on. So for example, if you are to visit everything included in the historic dockyards, although Mary Rose is not included, you have to buy a separate ticket as you pass for the as you buy for the historic dockyards. So the historic dockyards at their uh, shop costs £39 per person. We got it per person only for £24.40, I think. So a reduction of almost £15, which is brilliant. Uh, the Mary Rose Museum is... Uh, again, 20 something, and we got no, sorry, 18 pounds per person, and we got ours for 1440 reduced. Again, giving us the option to come back in the future. So here we are at HMS Victory, a ship dating back to the 19th century. So it's just amazing. Also, you have to see the other locations. We were pressurized by time, so that is why we saw only the Mary Rose, the HMS Victory, the Royal Navy Museum, the HMS Warrior and HMS M33. You can see there in the distance plane carrier and oh god.
gosh, if you are into military bands, you are going to listen there. The military bands practicing. Well, we are fortunate because uh, we visited in the last Wednesday of May and um, uh, this week, <laughs> so the first week of June, it is the D-Day commemoration, meaning the Queen is going to visit this. Uh, they are expecting 60,000 people, plus Trump might be visiting. So there you have it. Anyway, I hope all this information will inspire you to in visiting the historic dockyards and also pay uh, for the ticket for Mary Rose. Don't confuse these two tickets. There are two separate tickets. And uh, visit the rest of Portsmouth, who, as I said, will be coming back to visit the remaining of Portsmouth because there is the museum dedicated to Charles Dickens, also one to Brunel. So, yeah, we will be coming back and we'll be staying the uh, night. It is very entertaining. No wonder there are people from around the world visiting this. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope this inspired you too, as I said, to visit this and also the Gunworth Kids Shopping Centre packed with lots of shops with great discounts, better than in London, uh, although not as good as Bista Village. For that, check my video on Bista Village. Also check my videos on the high streets in London and also what uh, to see uh, else in London and around the world by clicking on show more and going to my profile on TripAdvisor. Well, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.